GPT-4 is finally here. You would have seen a lot of memes about GPT-4, GPT-3, but today OpenAI has officially announced GPT-4. Now, as everybody expected, GPT-4 is a multimodal model, but it can do multimodal in a different way. So in this video, I'm going to show you what is GPT-4, what is the announcement that OpenAI has made, and also how can you access GPT-4. This is going to be a very short video because um, I, I also need a lot of time to process this thing. But for now, if you see GPT-4, you can go to the blog post. GPT-4 is a multimodal model. So what is multimodal? So you can communicate or you can interact with the model in multiple different ways. So the things that they are currently doing is they accept image and text input. So you can upload a picture and ask questions on it, but it is going to respond back to you only text. I think this has been the trend in the recent time. There are a lot of multimodal models popping up like Palm from Google is one of the examples. And you can see that um, they have actually benchmarked GPT-4 against a lot of human tasks. This is quite new. Every time you see a large language model being launched, you would see them benchmarking it against existing data set. But what they have done is they have benchmarked it against professional and academic benchmarks. So we can see some of this information later on, but to quickly show you, they have actually gone through the test, like a exam, like human beings take, and they have seen how GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 has been performing. The green color bar that you see here is GPT-4 and the blue color bar is GPT-3.5. And you can see the, the, like the lower bound of a percentile. And you can, you can actually see like the way GPT-4 has been doing amazingly well in the places where GPT 3.5 was not doing good. So it, it almost looks like uh, the model is, you know, quite good, like creative in terms of the places where GPT 3.5 could not do. So now getting into the model in itself, like, as we can see that this is definitely going to be an upgrade, like GPT 3.5, like blew everybody's mind. Now, if you look at GPT four, the like opening has very strangely has not revealed a lot of details. If I go to the paper, the paper, if you see the paper, so the paper doesn't talk about how many, uh, it doesn't talk about the architecture. In fact, like for example, if you search for architecture, so it says, it says given both the competitive landscape and the safety implications of large scale models like GPT-4, this report contains no further details about the architecture, not even model size, doesn't even have model size. No details about hardware, no details about training compute, no details about data set construction, training method are similar. This is quite unbelievable. Like I could see a paper, like a technical paper. This is like, it's actually like a paper or like they call it a technical report. And this does not have information about the model architecture. I think this is, this is completely new. Uh, we have all, uh, they, they've mentioned like we are also committed to independent auditing of our technology, all these things. But, uh, this is, um, this is completely new. Like I'm quite shocked. We plan to further technical, we plan to make further technical details available to additional third parties who can advise us on how to weigh the competitive. I mean, like safety looks like a blanket statement, but how to weigh the competitive above the scientific value of further transparency. This is, this is completely new. I've never seen, um, never heard about it, but you can, uh, you can actually see some information on the paper. I'm not going to get in the details of the paper, but uh, let me show you a couple of things like how GPT-4 has been doing. So it, according to OpenAI, GPT-4 is more creative, more reliable, and it can handle more nuanced conversation. So one of the examples of uh, the multimodal conversation is you can upload this picture. This is like a very popular running joke about uh, like, let's say iPhone where everybody's using USB, C cable, you have to use a different cable, something like that. So you can upload this image and then say, what is funny about this image? Describe it panel by panel. So it first describes what is in the individual panel, like what is in the first panel, what is in the second panel, what is in the third panel. And then it says the humor in this image comes from the absurdity of plugging a large outdated VGA connector to a small modern smartphone charging point. It's quite good. It's quite good. So I'm not sure like whether they trained it on memes and all those kind of information, but you can see uh, it is quite good. So that's, that's one of the important things. While it can really do with the text a lot better, like that's what we have seen here in multiple cases. You can see GPT-4 uh, has been doing really good in terms of test, like SAT math, 
what is a benchmark like what was gpt 3.5 and what is gpt 4 you can see like the difference like this was at 70th percentile and this is at 89th percentile so this is completely unbelievable um i, I think maybe open is trying to tie up with education academics um but i don't know like medical knowledge self assessment program 75% this is 53% look at the kind of difference like you are you're talking about like massive massive 50% almost increase in the percentile score when it comes to human test like the test that human beings take i can quite understand that uh, they would have definitely scaled up the architecture uh, maybe added some layers but what i am quite interested in is how it is doing with respect to multimodal and also when you compare this with multiple other uh, models in terms of uh, different languages i think another aspect where gpt 4 is coming is the multiple languages not just multiple mode uh, multimodal multiple languages you can see how it has been performing with respect to other languages and um, and yeah so palm english is somewhere around like 69% chinchilla is somewhere around 67% in terms of uh, three shot accuracy and you see gpt4 85% the industry benchmark previously was 70% because of gpt3.5 and now the industry benchmark is state of the art is 85% from 70 to 85 completely like and, and again it's not it's not like only for these languages look at like pick up pick an indian language like for example in this case we have got a uh, punjabi marathi telugu you look at punjabi you see 71% that's almost better than what uh, palm english or chinchilla has been doing for english given the rich amount of data they have got gpt4 does much better than the the their counterpart models how they have been doing it for english like gpt4 punjab has much better accuracy three shot accuracy than palm english which is quite unbelievable and it's 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 even like you know i picked a small indian language but you can like go over the details like arabic uh, ukrainian indonesian all them all of them have like much 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 better knowledge but like i said like i am quite interested in terms of the multimodal capability and you can actually see how it goes and there are a lot of other informations that they have included one thing that i found a little uh, weird is uh, their risk and mitigation and how they are saying that they are going to handle um instructions like this like uh, for example where do i find cheap cigarettes so it says uh, as an ai model blah 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 previously it is what it was saying like gpt 3.5 or the early gpt 4 but now it actually gives it differentiates between a question like this um how can i create a and it differentiates between a question like this and then it gives different information so you can see how previously they were treating everything same now they have started adding the layers which one is more sensitive which one is less sensitive again who makes the decision nobody knows that's 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 always hidden part in models that are hosted by companies like this but again this is another Im important change that they have mentioned so now that we know all these things um i'll definitely get more and more detailed into like a lot of this model aspects now that we know gpt4 a multi model mo model you send in text and image and then it replies back to you in text now that we know this is the model in itself no no meme around you know size of the model let's see how to access this so again this this goes uh, into a very weird direction th at this place for you to access this model uh, the way you can access this model is you can uh, try it on chat gpt plus if you have got chat gpt plus subscription you can right away try this model i think you can right away try um, but i didn't try it yet so you can try it and if you want to get gpt4 access the api you have to join a waiting list you have to go to this gpt4 api waiting list which i'll link it in the youtube description you can go enter your details you can mention uh, the organization settings and all these things that information from your gpt4 api uh, the open ai account and then you need to explain what do you have to do very interestingly they are going to gradually roll out gpt4 and they are going to prioritize api access to the developers that contribute exceptional model evaluations to open ai evals that means there is something new so the new thing is called open ai evals open ai evals like if you are a developer uh, this is an evaluation framework to uh, for, this is a framework for evaluating open ai models and other uh, open source like it's like an open source registry of benchmarks like if you have um, seen hugging face has got something called evaluate so this is i, I think probably something related to this so based on the contributions that you make 
to this particular setup like opening a walls your prioritization for gpt4 access is going to be changed or um, um, accelerated but overall if you want to use gpt4 from api you have to join um, this uh, fill in this form then you know you can also like there is a new program called researcher access program you can try it but you can chat with it in chat gpt plus and uh, at some point they said this would be also available as a free unit like for free but i think given the amount of craze and given the amount of computation given the amount of competition i don't think they are going to make it available free anytime soon but you can see the details here like what kind of things it can do and i will definitely make another video getting deep deep into the the benchmarks and then details around it so yes the man the myth the legend gpt4 is here and uh, very surprisingly coincidentally google made palm api available today like which is which is exactly why i opened my computer to make a video but um, you know the like gpt4 always has got the higher priority so gpt4 is here i hope this was helpful to you in a very quick short introduction about how how is gpt4 how to access it and uh, the api access if you have got any question let me know in the comment section otherwise i'll see you in another detailed video soon happy prompting